Ndaigua and all that. Ah, yeah. Very good. Sasa, kama mwenzangu aliposema, hapa, ni kwamba watu katika nchi nzima walikuwa na tumaini kubwa sana. Kulingana na yale mambo ya ambayo yalisemwa na ambaye ni rais leo. Akasema yeye ni mtu wa hasula. Na yeye anataka kuangalia maslahi ya hasula. Na wengi ambao nyinyi mko hapa nyinyi ni mahasula. Vile amefanya ni kweli ameangalia maslahi yenu kwa njia hii. Ya kwamba ametoa mafuta mahali ilikuwa ilikuwa shilingi Mia moja na themanini akapeleka mia mbili na kitu juu ameangalia maisha ama ameharibu ameharibu mtukufu rae juzi koti kasema mambo ya housing levy hakuna saa hizi nataka kuambia hata sio kusikia mimi mwenyewe nimeona kwa website ya parliament kimani shumwa ameweka bill inaitwa affordable housing bill na hiyo affordable housing bill amesema ambaye ameajiriwa atalipa kodi ya 1.5%. Alafu akaendelea akaangalia masilahi tena ya hasula. Akasema hasula yeyote ambaye ni mama mboga, ambaye ni mtu ya mkokoteni, ambaye ni mtu ya pikipiki, ambao ni mtu ambaye ni wa maisha ya chini atalipa gross income yake atalipa 1.5% ya housing na akaongeza hapo juu akasema hata kama hauna nyumba wewe utalipa kodi ya kununulia watu nyumba na wewe hauna hiyo ni nzuri ni mbaya mbaya kwa hivyo tuwaambia na tuwapatia tahadhari na umesikia tumesema enough is enough enough is enough, enough. you can fool some people sometime but you cannot fool all the people all the time you fooled us na tukakubali hata mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ulikuwa umeongea kitu iko na, na, na mwelekeo lakini leo hii walio hapa wengi walikupatia kura na wanasema ngo ni lazima wewe uachane na maisha yao kwa sababu mwafinya ya kutosha ni kweli si kweli kweli eh kweli na anakaa kwa miti juu juu zinaona anabeba delegation ya watu waya watu 800 wakapelekwa Dubai. And listen to this one very carefully. Kwenda Dubai amewalipia 2.2 billion shillings. January is coming in two weeks. Na watoto wetu wameongezwa fees na amekataa kuachilia pesa ya CDF. Kwa hivyo hawana kitu watalipiwa nae fees. Lakini kuna pesa ya kupeleka wabunge wakalale huko na hakuna kitu wanafanya 2.2 billion. Equivalent to the fees of 75,000 students in high school. Hello Munasikia? Kwa hivyo huyu ni mtu anatujali ama hatujali? Nasikia ndege, ndege zinakutana kwa hewa. Sikia, zinakutana hapa kwa hewa. Anaruka anabadilisha nguo. Anakuwa mtalii. Na hata sasa sababu anapenda sana kuuza uh, mashamba. Hata nasikia wamechukua ile shamba ya ruai, ya sewage. Hiyo ya sewage wameichukua na uhuru alikuwa ameishika ndio isaidie watu wa Nairobi na watu wa Nairobi msikie sasa kutakuwa ni kama uh, uh, Sodom na Gomora kule sababu amechukua hiyo shamba tuamwambia wachana na hiyo uza state house uza nini house. sababu wewe hukai state house utakutafitia air b and b unakaa hapo siku moja alafu unaenda ngapi ni sawa si sawa eh sawa bazuri si ni sawa hii watu wote kazi yao ni ya wizi. Mtu anadanganya leo, anadanganya kesho. Inajua we had even given you time my friend. One year, five months. Saa hii tumesema hakuna kunyamaza tena. Hauta 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 hautasimamisha watu wetu kufanya kila wanataka, si kweli? So utasema hivi like our declaration hapa. Eh? Mliona watu wetu wamechapwa sana kule Lamu? Yeah si wamechapwa sana na ajapeleka watu ya kuangalia mambo ya security na wa, wananyongwa sana lakini pesa ya kwenda Dubai yako naye na China na India wanakutana eh hey, na, na wherever anaenda na anapeleka askari Haiti na sasa hiyo watu wetu wanauawa anatujali hatujali hatujali sio so we are giving you a warning and this is Kiambu declaration 
ya kwamba enough enough is enough and we don't want your liberation we have decided to liberate ourselves and the starting time is now the starting time is now nyote mmakubali tuanze safari ya kutimua hii jamaa na tusumbua ni wangapi wanasema tumutimue Aya, kama mbaya mbaya utashuka kwa mti kama hautoki tutakata huo mti na pawa so uanguke chini